Hello everybody, this is Sadeep Harsulkar from Sairam Education. As we all know that there was the NEET exam has just got over and the students must be waiting, are actually waiting for the results. Some of the students have already prepared their answer sheet, means answer question by the answer keys on the net, get their answers, some are securing 300, some are securing 400. They are expecting that their marks will be somewhere around 300 to 600 marks. The total amount of Total number of students appeared for this year for the exam were around 14 lakh, which has been given in the news to rate somewhere around 85. 85% of the students have appeared for the exam against the amount of forms filled, those were around 16 lakh. Now, the total amount of seats, as we all know, are around 80,000 seats all over India, including the government, the private, the deemed universities. Amongst this has been distributed amongst all the colleges, private colleges, government colleges and DB. As I am getting a lot of questions coming down to my consultancy services, a lot of people, a lot of students are calling from day to A lot of questions are coming to me regarding seat bifurcation, where will they get the seat, in 300 where will they get the seat, in 200 where will they get the seats, what will be the eligibility criteria. Seeing to the score of last year and one more year behind that, the eligibility is somewhere expected to be around 150 marks. Probably 140 to 150 marks it is going to be there. Beyond this, this I need to say that this much amount would marks are required for every student to get eligible or to seek or to get into the race of getting a seat or asking for a seat. All the seats, mind it, all the seats are going to be distributed, are going to be through counseling process held by the MCC. Later down the line, I would like to explain you what are the preference forms, how the seed distribution are there, what variety of colleges. Let's start from different types of colleges. Number one, we all have, we all know that the number of colleges, the number one is the government colleges. We have government colleges all over India. This year, Ames, Jipman, Pondicherry, all have been included. They have also come underneath. We have students coming with a marks of 600, what I feel 600, 620, 630, 650 also. Now the main issue is ki students, they actually want to know will they get into a government college, will they get into a private college, will they get into a deemed university. So it, uh, there's a tentative score which I feel approximately this much, this much amount of marks will uh, help the child to get in a government college. As of now I've explained I've tried to explain all of this to all of you, the amount of seat matrix, amount of seats available in India and against which how many students are appeared for the exam. Everyone is looking for a government seat. People with the lesser marks will be going for a private seat or, or a bit lesser will go for deemed universities. In the next video, I would be coming up with uh, the method of filling up the preference form because that is a place where the children generally make a big mistake. So just wait for the next video. I would be sending, I would be describing, I would be explaining everything about the preference forms and the total amount of quota seats in various states. As of now, like we have some open state colleges and closed state colleges, I'll be explaining in detail.